ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags, and welcome back aboard the USS Grayling, and we are currently in the Denmark Con Strait. Sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. And that is an awful lot of Victor 1s. So, we've just arrived inside of the area, and our crew is doing the thing that we are starting to get used to at this point, where uh, all enemy contacts are being identified almost as fast as they're detected if they're above a certain sound threshold, which is pretty easy today. We're only 81 decibels in the water. We're currently sitting on the air, the upper side of a weak duct and weak thermal layer at 171 feet. We're currently sitting at 150 feet. At this point, we do not even have the towed array out, and we've managed to identify all of the enemy targets. They're being that loud in the water in comparison to us. However, what I'm going to do here is actually slow us down. So since we clearly don't need the Make turns. need the tow array deployed to track these zero, guys, going nine, full stop is probably a pretty good idea just to kill our noise and hold our position. So we have three Victor 1s. All have been identified. Sierra 2 is our closest at 7.1 kiloyards. 11.2 to Sierra 1, and Sierra 3 a little bit further back at 12.1 kiloyards. And they're spread really wide. Which is actually a concern. Sierra 2 being the shallowest, it's in the duct here with us. Actually, sorry, no, Sierra 2 is below the duct, Sierra 1 is in the duct with us, Sierra 3, okay. So, Sierra 2 is definitely close enough to hear us, but I wonder whether or not we're shallow enough to one, zero, zero, feet, die by. not have this launch detected. This is, they do appear to be turning left. Sierra 3 is far enough out and deep enough in comparison to us that it shouldn't hear the launch. Which is good, because I can only wire control two torpedoes at any given time, and I clearly have three targets. So, we are going to need to sink two of these, and then re-engage for a third shot. So, one of these victors is going to be free and in the water without a torpedo to worry about, while we're engaging two other targets. Somewhat of a concern. Alright, so... Shoot tube one, aye sir. Tube one out. Shoot tube two, aye sir. Tube two out. I'm gonna run these upside and then dive down on them. Which should cause a little bit of confusion, hopefully cause Sierra 3 to fire its torpedoes into the mix with Sierra 2 and Sierra 1. Although, if they continue their turn, I'll be able to swing the torpedoes around and sit them just quietly in the baffles. In fact, that may not be such a terrible light. Yeah, they're going to start turning back the other way. You actually change, change directions, change the torpedoes, tack direct south. Yeah, both torpedoes heading directly south. Yeah, the Victor ones are going to return. Uh, are going to make the turn back. So I need to get these torpedoes into the baffles of the Victor one as quickly as possible. At the moment, she can't hear the law. I can't hear them in the water, but she is likely going to be able to hear them very, very, very soon. So I need to get them behind her before she begins to turn back, or at least far enough in that I can get some distance on our location. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Con All right. sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Torpedoes sonar, have been detected. Launch transient from Sierra 3. Sierra 3 is firing and it's firing on torpedo 1. That's not good. That's really not good because that direct line on those shots is likely to intersect. 
And those tor those torpedoes will be running shallow. It looks like... Yeah, two torpedoes, potential concern. Torpedo one's gone active. So we better match depth here. Sierra two. Is it about a thousand feet? Diving torpedo down to match depth. As soon as it's down at depth, it should pick up the Victor one almost instantly. Depth matched. Sierra 3. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Alright, torpedoes acquired. Yeah, Sierra 3 is deep as well, floating at about the 800 feet mark. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Ooh, I think I poked him. So Sierra 2 is firing on the torpedo, on, on torpedo Con 2. Sonar, noise Sierra maker, bearing, 3 two, fired three, on torpedo six. 1. The primary concern we've got is Sierra 3, 3's torpedoes are likely going to intercept our location. So we need to shift our, change our depth. Got a 1300. Meet depth one, three, zero, zero feet, die by. Alright, torpedo seems to be tracking through countermeasures. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two, three, eight. Alright, torpedo has been spiffed by the countermeasure, turning back onto target. Come on. Con, fire control, we weapon go. acquired. Weapon reacquired, and it's inside the countermeasure release point now. Con sonar lost contact. All right. Sierra two, First target staring. Two, three, nine. Contact Start reloading. Up. And torpedo three. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Even as we're slowly diving down, I want the third torpedo out. And we're going to run it parallel. Uh, run it east-west, rather. Across and get it above the Victor Con 1 sonar. for Sierra, Sierra 1 and strike down. Cavitating. Sierra 1 is cavitating. What is Sierra 1 doing? To... Hmm. Alright. Set speed five, we're not diving fast Main enough. Turns four, five knots, maneuvering eye. Alright, torpedo is tracking, uh, Sierra two is tracking. Turns four, five knots. Con, torpedo room, two one Con Yeah, we've definitely got two that are of a concern two, here. One, four. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Torpedo is tracking. Still running automatic guidance at the Con moment. Sonar. I don't need to take Noise over. There we go. Countermeasure's kind of thrown it off. Let the torpedo head through up to the countermeasure and then turn it on to target. Depth change. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. That weapon has reacquired, it's now tracking. And it's now inside of the countermeasure release range. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three and last that's bearing kill. two. So two one, down. Six. Third contact torpedo is up. doing its thing. Current depth passing nine hundred feet. I really hope those torpedoes are running shallow. I really hope those torpedoes are running shallow. And looks like Sierra 1 has slowed down to turn around to see if we can work out where the shots are coming from. We 
which is fine. Yeah, that's nerve-wracking. But it looks like... There it is up there. There's the torpedo going through. He may not have realised it, but he shot fairly true. We've got some real clear water here too. I suppose it is, I think, middle of the day in a, in a fairly cold section of the world, so... Yeah, there she is. That was a bloody close shot, but at 1300 feet we are deep enough to not have to worry about it. Torpedo has gone through. Alright, so now we've just got to intercept the Victor 1. Alright, so Torpedo has finally caught up to the Victor 1. We have 6 minutes and 34 seconds remaining on. And we have this beautiful ring of death surrounding us here at the moment. We may have a little bit more dodging to do yet. If it counterfires on this Torpedo... Damn it. Lost Sierra 1. Let's go active. Eh, not picking it up at all. Go passive. And it's reacquired. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing. Two. Four. Four. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, four, three. Diving hard here. Torpedo's tracking through, there we go, it's two, caught the countermeasure. Two. So shifting depth, torpedo, uh, the submarine is surfacing, there we go, reacquired. Still tracking true, at this point the torpedo is inside of the release. Con sonar Boom. lost contact, Sierra 1. Last bearing, two, four, one, contact breaking up. All right, so after action report, USS Grayling. Three enemies engaged and three sunk. Three Victor 3s for 18,255 tons. We still have 12 Mark 48s remaining and we didn't use anything else. 73,020 experience gained. So we're ticking along quite nicely here at the moment. Now... And that was our mission objective. Excellent. So, the wolf pack has been destroyed. Let's see what they give us next. Convoys protected. In the last 48 hours, a number of Soviet submarines have been sunk, according to the latest NATO morning press briefing. The enemy vessels were believed to be advanced nuclear attack and cruise missile submarines. I don't know cruise missile subs involved. If true, this would be a significant blow to the Russian war plans and a big help for ensuring the safe transit of Allied convoys. Successes against Russian submarine threat were applauded throughout the West, but the news also sparked protests outside of some military installations as activists warned about nuclear contamination from the sunken vessels. Oh well, <laughs> there's a hell of a lot bigger risk of nuclear contamination if they get their missiles off. I assume it's supposed to be indicating that potentially there was a cruise missile ship that could have shown up in that mission, or that there is meant to be other submarines that you don't get to see that are actually sinking stuff as well. I, I would assume that would have to be the case. Anyways, next mission. Tactical situation. Intelligence reports that an enemy destroyer is preparing to sail from Ermac. A single destroyer? I assume it means a fleet of destroyers. 
For a patrol in the vicinity of the Barrett Sea, it's likely to scout for much larger strike group that has been assembling. No, it might be indicating just a single destroyer. Destroy the scouting force so other forces can intercept the larger strike, for, uh, strike group. Patrol area blue 44. We're hunting an anti-submarine warfare patrol, essentially. Cool. Alright, let's do that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we did not make it to our designated patrol area. We were intercepted by a submarine force en route, so this is not our objective. But it is a hostile submarine. Bearing to submarine, 262. 79 decibels in the water. God, it's quiet. Wheat duct, wheat layer, only 138 feet. Okay, for this one. Toad array out. Set depth 100 Make feet. Depth 100 zero, zero feet. Dive by. Estimated range 6.7 on Sierra 1. That is close. That is real close. And closing. Six point six. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. And it's identified as a tango. Okay, I was actually wondering whether or not I was actually going to have to work out the identification on my own. I'm kind of getting used to this whole the crew sorting this out for me now. They're experienced, although I probably shouldn't be getting too uh, too comfortable with it. All right, so it's only a tango. Which is interesting. Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot one away. I want to get this torpedo out. Con pieces. sonar launch transient yep. from Sierra one. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra one. Okay. Well, in that case, total ray is retracting. Go active. Switching to active search. We got enough time for two pings, and then we got to change. Now we can go much deeper than she can, and we're a lot. F actually, I think yeah, we think we are actually faster than a tango. It might be one of the few things that we're actually faster than. Yeah, top speed, 18 knots. We can actually outrun the tango. All right, torpedo activated. Short. Active sonar Con is sonar. not bringing back Switching any other targets, search. so the Tango might be the only thing here. Shifting depth. Going to 1,200 feet. Depth, one, two, zero, zero feet. Die by. Essentially no bottom here, so that's fine. Now I'm assuming the Tango's torpedoes are going to be moving up Above the layer, we might head to Make 13 again. One, three, Take it all zero, the way down to test depth. By. Better to be sure. Tango. I get co I get comments in the comment section every now and again too about these. Like, what are these on the side of the submarine? They're actually anchor ports. The anchor would. Well, you would normally be able to see it, like a, a normal ship's anchor sits in there, and then it drops down over the side. And these are reinforced smooth slides for the anchors to drop down. Because yes, submarines do actually have anchors. They're usually not quite as prominent as that, but this is a relatively old submarine. Although I'm not sure why she's bothering to ping actively anymore. She's running away from my sub and a torpedo and th the tangos do not have total rays and they do have extremely primitive sonar equipment and they have a baffle so at the moment she's banging away on active for absolutely no reason whatsoever she's getting nothing out of it she's not even getting a return from her active sonar on us there's nothing 
All she's doing is making noise and making herself easier to track. To be entirely sure, I'm not entirely sure she's even firing wire guided torps either. What are what are her torpedoes? Sorry, I was looking at the wrong target there. Uh, Tango, fire, fifteen, control. thirteen. Weapon acquired. Weapons acquired. So yeah, she's slow, even slower than I thought. What's her torpedoes? No, she can fire use set eighties. So she must be a modernization. She can fire use set eighties. So she can fire. Oh, okay, well, I should probably clarify that she can fire use set eighties. So she can fire torpedoes that are capable of wire North guiding. Maker, bearing. Two, that doesn't six, necessarily six. mean she has the capabilities of wire guiding the actual torpedoes, and I can't... Yeah, can't see any listing here at all. For number of wires. Torpedo still tracking target. And no, it looks like from the fact that they're going into search patrols, I would say... that she cannot fire wire guided. She's fired them with a search pattern. Seems like a waste of good use at 80 to me. Oh yeah, she's done. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing, two, six, eight. The scary Contact thing is, the out. Mark 48 torpedo that just sunk her would have to be close to the same in value as that entire submarine. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be pretty bloody close. Alright, so, after action report, enemy engaged, Tango class, sunk 3,800 tons, we still have 11 Mark 48s remaining. Which is fine, we've still got enough, and we're still on our way. This hasn't really slowed us up all that much. So we should be able to still hit our patrol area, and hopefully find the destroyer. Anyways, ladies and gents, yep, this was not your mission target. No, it wasn't, but that's okay. We know where the mission target is, and we're still on our way there. But anyways, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to bring this one to a close here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon, as always. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did. Share and subscribe if you want to see more, and take care.